cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 ibo kwenu we abia kwenu we anambra kwenu we ebo yi kwenu we enugu kwenu we imo kwenu we Nigeria kwezo no oja Hello friends, beautiful ones, and committed ones. I salute you once again. I hope we all are doing great. I welcome you once again to my Igbo segment. This is your host, Mazi Bigo, a full-fledged Igbo song and teacher of Igbo language, culture, and traditions, including general issues that affect our lives in society, issues that affect the lives of the Igbo, and the lives of the non evil including those of the general public. All right, yeah, today I welcome you once again. All right, um, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, some Igbo delicacies, some popular Igbo delicacies, and, um, you know, soups, things that Igbo people cherish as a tribe. So we are going to talk about them. Some of them, just a tip of the iceberg. That's what we're going to talk about today. All right. Um, before I go on, I have to find out, find out whether you guys have actually been practicing you know, the previous lessons we had. And uh, I believe there is no problem for now. But if it happens that there's anybody that finds any of the lessons or parts of the lessons um, you know, uh, difficult or you know, not very clear. The person should feel so free, 100% free, to contact me via the uh, message um, inbox, I mean, in the comment section. So that's where you leave your message. And uh, I will attend to your message as soon as I come across it, okay? All right. Okay, now let's go on or let's move on with today's lesson okay so um like i said we're going to talk about some popular Igbo delicacies and soups some popular Igbo delicacies and soups let's start number one is oba oba or obaka oba is spelled as o that's letter u with a dot at the bottom then uh, wa a o we a wa is um remember I taught you about diphthongs which is called um, inibo odampe the combo of ge and be make up the makes up the wa o we a o wa um that's the general Igbo name for it then which is called Igbo is we generally accepted Igbo word. Okay. Now, you can still call that Oba. Obaka. O. Uh, that is um, letter U with a dot at the bottom. Okay. Then, P. P is also a diphthong. That's a combo of K and P. Then K and P, when combined together, they form P. Obaka. Spelled as O B A K A. If you don't hear someone say uh, Oba, you can hear someone say Obaka. Whether someone says Oba or Obaka, it still means the same thing. Both of them mean the same thing. Both of them are referring when used. Both of them or either of them is referring to oil being, oil being, O I L. B E A N. Okay, that's what um, Obaka or Oba is what Igbo people call oil bean. Very delicious. Oh, very, very delicious. Oh, I feel like having some now. You know, this um, one popular Igbo delicacy that has been enjoyed and served by other tribes in the country. In fact, 
there are people outside the, of outside of the Igbo tribe that enjoy this opaka when prepared and uh, seem to eat the opaka more than the Igbos, the natives or the originators of the delicacy. Trust me, that's just the basic truth. Okay, now we we'll talk about um, another one called abacha. Wow, this abacha has come to stay. So many people, apart from the Igbo tribe, enjoy abacha so much. They love abacha. And what is this abacha? Abacha is a byproduct of cassava. In almost all parts of the country, abacha is served. That is both the, um, the Igbo tribe and the non-Igbo tribe. So you can see something that every other tribe enjoys, irrespective of uh, that particular delicacy being foreign to them. Okay? That's to show you that that particular delicacy is very, very rich. The Obaka, Oba, and Abacha are very rich. And not just rich, they are very, very delicious. Mm. All right. The third one is um, called Ofe Salana. We're talking about a soup. Ofe in Igbo. A soup in Igbo is called Ofe or rather, soup is called ofe in Igbo. Okay? So, that um, ofe sala is a popular uh, soup from Anambra State. That is the, they are the originators of that soup called ofe sala. Very delicious. Okay? Uh, very, very delicious. Well, I'm savoring. I mean, I'm, my mouth or rather, I'm... Um, it's becoming mouth watering, you know. <laughs> you know, just the thought of it is making me feel as if it's available at the moment where I can savor it without wasting time. Okay, the other one is called um, uh, Ofa Kukwa. Just as I explained a few moments ago, Ofe means soup, then Akukwa means leaves. Then the combo of um, water and all. Let me not talk about how Ofa Kukwa is prepared. But it's just about the leaves. Other things will be discussed at a later date. I mean, concerning how it's prepared, the ofe abuko, and other ones as well. Okay, now the fourth one is called ofo onubu. Wow, ofo onubu. Irrespective of the fact that onubu is bitter, the onubu is a leaf, is a bitter leaf. Or rather, if it's called bitter leaf, that's to show you that the leaves are bitter. But the ibu. As a tribe cherishes it a lot, we eat it. I'm one of those who enjoy your food. I just can't do without it. I just can't do without it. Fulubu is so delicious. And as you know, food, I told you, means uh, uh, soup. Fulubu is just bitter leaf. Okay? All right. Um, the other one is called. Um, now, in that Ofe Ulubu, when you hear some places in Igbo call it um, Ulubu, which is the general Igbo word for that bitter leaf. I know places like Anambra and uh, neighboring towns call it Ulubu. Whether you hear Ulubu or Ulubu, bear in mind that both of them mean the same thing. Both of them are referring to bitter leaf. Okay, now... Um, We'll talk about uh, okazi. Okazi. Okazi is a, a popular leaf in Igbo land. They don't grow close to homes. But you know, modernity has made a lot of things possible. People now plant okazi. You know, uh, the what is it called? The, um, the leaves or whatever they are that is planted that brings forth okazi leaves. In many homes now, you find people planting okazi. They no longer wander into the thick forest to look for the leaves. You get the leaves, they are readily available. You know, that's why you see a lot of them in the market. You know, they are not you see, um, these ones are uh, the ones that men or people plant in their homes, and when they grow, they harvest them, eat and sell part of them. Okay. So now, um, let's uh, talk about the other one called um, Ofe Oha. 
uh, for a lot of uh, non Igbos enjoy for her more than the more than the uh, <laughs> the Igbo people in question. O for her or her or Ora or her is the um, Igbo Izube, the central Igbo name for that particular leaf. Soft, you know, it's just an offshoot um, that are harvested, offshoots of that tree that are harvested. So it's also delicious. Mm, I'm suffering. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, move to another one. Another one is called Ofe Achara. Ofe Achara. Wow, that's another delicious meal. It's an um, offshoot of a particular vegetable that looks um, a little bit greenish, you know. And um, when they're harvested, they're used to cook. And you find such soup that um, Ofe Achara popular in, uh, in, in, in the state of Omoaya, in the state of Abia State, Omoaya and their neighboring towns in Abia State. They are the ones that really, uh, they, in short, they are the originators of that, um, uh, that achara with which the soup is prepared and when it's prepared, it becomes so achara. Uh, a lot of uh, non igbos have started severing it, so it's not just um, an Igbo food these days. Okay, now we have um, the one they call Ofa Ofa is nothing but um you know a kind of soup you used to eat um, rice, white rice, when white rice is cooked, you know, um you use it instead of uh, stew it's a stew, okay, but it's very popular in the Igbo land. You, you don't go through all these uh, sauces, uh, all these uh, seasoning like tomato and all that. So this one you use um, um the apple in Igbo. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, palm fruits in Igbo is called apple. Uh, the palm fruits are called apple in Igbo. Okay, all right. The um, other one we have ofe oba. Oba is oil bean, or you call it ofe oba or ofe obaka. What that actually um, is all about is um, preparing a kind of soup with uh, oil bean. It's a very delicious soup in Igbo land. We savor it a lot. We don't play with it. Okay, then another one. Um, we call it ofe muigu. Muigu is caterpillars. You know, um, uh, you know caterpillars. Those uh, little things that move this way. You know, so you see them. They move on trees. They eat uh, the tree leaves and all that. They are the, um, uh, they are called muigu in Igbo language. Um, they are otherwise known as caterpillars. They are just at their formative stage and they are harvested and you used to cook a particular soup. And uh, when such thing takes, uh, when that particular soup is prepared, it's called Ofe Mwigu. Ofe, I told you earlier, means soup. Okay, now um, let me just um, um, use this one to close it. There are so many other soups in Igbo. Land, but let me use this one. That's if, almost uh, even non Igbos have heard or even have tested it. It's called Ofowere. <laughs> Ofowere is one delicious soup that costs a lot in preparation. You understand? That is why when it's given to you, whoever that cooks that Ofowere and offers it to you, it means the person places or attaches great value on you. you understand? And if you decide to leave after eating sauce soup, in a woman's house, be it your mother-in-law, be it uh, your mother, and you just uh, take your leave, you simply take your leave without uh, dipping your hands in your pocket to bless the woman, then a uh, group where I group uh, those people I call stingy, stingy men, <laughs> you know, the misers. All right, um, that's all for now. When we meet next time, I'll talk to, we'll talk about um, how to prepare all these aforementioned delicacies and soups. All right, guys, that's all for now. Catch you some other time. Have a good night rest. Bye-bye.